Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Morel's Pearls. This is Thursday noon Pacific time and this is my time to uh, give you my pearls of wisdom. I am Merle M. Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker, and I help you make your own miracles in your own life with your own relationships. Today we're going to talk about really your relationship with yourself because this is the last day of 2020 and many of us say hallelujah <laughs> this year can't be over fast enough but aside from celebrating by ourselves <laughs> or just the one or two people that are in our household oh my goodness what you know if we're glad that it's over, let's make our plans for next year, 2021. Maybe no great big expectations, but what we can do is plan our behavior, plan those things in our life that make us feel good about ourselves. Uh, for instance, in uh, Thursday Thoughts with Merle and Patty, in the last hour we talked about just taking one resolution and but tracking it every month like put it on your calendar you can put it that repeat 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 right uh and put it on your calendar for the first day of every month to track how you're doing on that just one just change one habit and see if that if you're more successful then i could ask you next year at this time if you'll remember that will be that will be the lesson won't it um i think i'll put that on my calendar <laughs> but i'm adding to that i think one of the things that help us be successful in our life is when we're happy or feeling some sense of of worthiness of some sense of you know I'm a, I'm a good person I'm not perfect but I'm a good person I, I think in with my working with people uh, coaching and in classes the thing that I note that is often not there is a really strong sense of one's own worthiness well that's not something to complain about that's something to do something about because everything can stem from there <clears throat> excuse me if you feel better about yourself you will accomplish more things you will attempt more things and you will give yourself credit for those things which <clears throat> I highly recommend so today I, I want to talk about not necessarily a resolution but maybe it is a kind of resolution to think in terms of this year a lot of times we give charity to whoever asks at the time but what about planning it what about saying I'm going to do something for somebody else. And I'm going to plan to do something for somebody else. Now that somebody else could be your mother. Maybe if your mother's if your mother's living in a home. If your mother's whatever, whatever issues that she would have that you could do one thing nice for her. That counts. You know, you don't have to give money. You can give, you can give time. You can give of yourself. And doing that for your mom, for your daughter, for your son, for your uh, husband, wife, partner, whatever. Whoever it is in your life. 
It could be the neighbor. It doesn't matter who. It's just somebody that you know and that you know would benefit from from something nice that you do. It could just be it could be just putting on your uh, on your calendar. Send an email to Mary and for every month. But it needs to be something that is a gift, something that you are giving to someone else. And that would take care of all the people that you experience in your life, family and friends and acquaintances and just neighbors and whomever. Also, you can decide in advance because I, I, <laughs> I don't know if you have the situation that I have, but I get a lot of mail, <laughs> a lot of mail from charities and heaven forbid, if you donate to one, you, they keep asking for more. But so what I've done is to at the beginning of the year, make a list of the people that I've donated to before that I like, that I feel a connection to. Uh, it could be a, a St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital where they actually help people for free, for children. But it's, to me, a sick child is just terrible. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, it can be something like that. Uh, I, I, I like Smile Train. Uh, I like PBS, <laughs> Public Broadcasting. Um, but y you have different ones. Feed the Children is really, uh, you know, we all have a soft heart for children. Well, maybe we don't all have a soft heart, but you don't have to have a soft heart for children you can just have a soft heart somewhere for somebody. And if you say, I don't even have a soft heart, just pick some charity that you will donate to. And sometimes, sometimes we hide our own feelings from ourselves. So that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just if it occurs to you, Oh, well, I like to give to this charity, or I will give. You don't have to like it. Just do it. I, 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 I don't know. If, so I always tell the story about, you know, I've been married for over 50 years to the same man, so I must know something about relationship. Well, you know, part of that story is in year 19, I was ready. I was ready to leave. That's it. Just and I had to figure out some things and I, in doing that I, I kind of discovered that maybe it wasn't him because we went to therapy and he did everything <laughs> that I asked or that the therapist suggested and I still wasn't happy so it occurred to me maybe it wasn't him maybe it's me <laughs> oh and what I did was I said, I'm going to concentrate on myself. And then I said, I'm going to do everything that I'm passionate about. Everything that I'm happy about. Everything that I want to do. And so I sat down with a piece of paper and a pencil. And I said, I don't know. I had nothing on the list. I didn't know what I wanted. So I understand that sometimes we think that we don't care and sometimes we don't. But sometimes we just don't know. We haven't explored that deep in ourselves. And so what I, did I do, I have to finish the story of course. <laughs> I didn't know what to do because I didn't know what I wanted. And I said, Okay, if you don't know what you want, what are you thinking? Just what's the thought that comes to your mind? The first thing I thought up, scout, scout's honor, is 
a skydiving. And I said, I'm not ready for skydiving. <laughs> I'll put that at the bottom of my list. But the next thing was Toastmasters. Uh, the next thing was being active in my temple. The next thing was being active in my community. There were things uh, where I lived that could use some help and I wanted to be part of the solution. Now, those were things I never would do. I'm too busy to do them, blah, 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 blah. All, the th all the reasons that all of us have for not doing something. And I said, okay, I'm, I just picked one. I started with Toastmasters. Because when you learn how to express yourself, you can then go and volunteer and open your mouth and feel comfortable saying something. And that's what I did. I just went from... I don't know if I like it, but I thought of it, so I'm going to do it. And that worked. Turns out I loved Toastmasters. I loved what it did. And I I became extraordinarily active in my, uh, in my Hollywood community. And I got a, what did I get? I think it's here somewhere, Distinguished woman of the year or something like that so I I got rewarded for it and what happened I was happy I guess those were things I wanted to do because after I did them I was happy so I'm suggesting a similar thing for you that even if you don't know what it is if it occurs to you do that and in this case, I'm talking about donating to charities. I, I think, or people, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, a 501c3. But if it, uh, it is, you can deduct it at the year's end. But it doesn't have to be that. It can just be a neighbor or, or a loved one. You can just resolve to be nicer to your partner but but it has to be not just something you're going to do today you have to kind of write it down and do specific things say I haven't been nice to my partner so uh, what I should do is tell him a joke every day just to keep us uh, lighthearted and, and uh, in a good mood but so it's a specific thing that you can check it off you did it and uh, do the same, you know, pick it, pick any of the charities, anything that suits you. Uh, sometimes local charities are very good. Uh, whatever it is, it gives you the opportunity to feel good about yourself. If you feel good about yourself, that enhances your sense of worthiness. If it enhances your sense of worthiness, it makes you happy. If it makes you happy, it gives you, you create, you have an aura of happiness about you that extends to whomever you're talking to or whomever you're with. So that works at work and it works at home. Then you can have better relationships with people. You can accomplish more things. And what does that do? It makes you feel good. I'm really worthy. I'm doing these good things and I'm enjoying it. So it's a, a, a whatever you call it, effect where it rolls over back and forth. This leads to that chicken or egg kind of thing. That's, that's it. That's, uh, that's all I need to say today because if you can do that for yourself, for the world this is it's it's a small step approach to big things so if you're looking uh, uh, my thing is right now Patty and I are doing um, the magic and science of love three steps to finding the perfect partner for you but I have to tell you, one of the things that we teach is how to feel better about yourself, how to have a sense of worthiness, and how to be happy because those are the things 
that will give you a good enough sense about yourself so that you can pick not the same old person you always had that's really not right for you but it will help you recognize the person that admires you and think you know if you don't feel good about yourself and somebody admires you, you think they're morons <laughs> because if they if they like you they must be a moron but if you feel better about yourself then you say oh I like when somebody likes me that feels good he does nice she does nice things for me that feels good she's just straightforward nice and she's nice with me. She's nice with other people. That feels good. So that's, uh, if you can just do what we're talking about in this 10 minutes or 12 minutes, you can skip the class. But if you want a little more details on it, you can go to the class. It's uh, starting the second Monday of January. We have the class on Monday nights at 5 30 p.m. so we try to if, you know even if you're in Europe and it's an it ends up it's an oddball time at least it's possible that's it oh, you can get my book cracking the relationship code uh, go to my website relationship miracle worker dot com slash workshop to know about that or just check it over meanwhile am i not dedicated to be here on uh, the, the 31st happy new year's eve tonight yes it's gonna be <laughs> my husband and i uh we could zoom but it's okay i get so much uh activity with zooming with you guys and some other things that i do uh just do something special have a special dessert uh give him a a little uh heart with a i love you so something nice or if you're doing it by yourself at home make that heart i love you and give it to yourself uh or you have pets however you do it see that you're doing it on purpose uh that it's intentional and that it's meant to make you feel good, you making yourself feel good. What a great way to end the year. What a great way to start a new year. Have a wonderful new year. May we all have a wonderful, even if it gets to wonderful and slow steps from January through the rest of the year. Bye everybody. Thanks for listening.